What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Melvin Taylor Jr., and I'm here with my buddy, Cameras. Special episode of Making Manhattan. You do not want to miss this. It's a very fun interview. You're going to learn a lot about this brother right hey. here. Originally, when you had uh, when you first came in, I had asked if you were from New York because that's right. where some stuff had came up. But you said you're originally from down south. Yeah. So tell me about that. What was it like growing up down there? Man, it was where cool. Where you man. from? Everything. I was actually born in Florida. Okay. I was born in Jacksonville, and my dad was in the Navy, so I lived in Milton, Florida. Does that mean you're a Jaguars fan? I don't watch sports. All right, cool, good. But uh, good. But I worked some Jaguars games back in the day. All right, yeah. All right, you got paid for it, so oh, we, yeah, can, I got we paid throw for that it. to the cool, side. Cool, cool, cool. Keep going. So, <laughs> so I was. Uh, I lived in Pensacola, Florida. Then I moved to Milton in fourth grade, and then mm -hmm. Georgia in sixth grade. So I claimed Georgia because it was six through twelfth. Okay, so then years. Georgia's home. For yeah, you. Georgia's home. So I was in Georgia for those six years, and when I was seventeen, I was gonna go to college in Georgia. My great aunt was like, "You should be in New York if you want to be an actor," mm -hmm. and I said, "I agree." So I moved to New York instead, moved in with her, and mm. been here ever since. Wow. So then what was that conversation like when you first told your peoples, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with auntie up north. It I was funny, man. This. It was like I really decided that I was moving the end of senior year. It was kind of, it was crazy. And we're from such a small town. Uh -huh. Me moving to New York City was a huge deal. I mean, yeah. it still is. People still message me like, I can't believe, you know, you're, you moved and you're working. Because yeah. I, I, there, there's that mentality where if you're from a small town, you stay in a small town. Right. So a lot of people back home haven't left, and some of them just don't want to, some of them don't know how to, and some of them don't know if they can. So New York was crazy for me because, I one, I didn't think actors actually moved to New York City to mm -hmm. be actors. I thought that was a movie thing. Mm -hmm. So whenever she said move to New York to be an actor, I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just like, go can, to the Big Apple. Right. It's just going to happen like yeah, that. Okay, cool. But, I mean, my dad was like, do you want to do it? Because my parents are really supportive of the whole acting thing. And mm -hmm. I was like, I mean, sure. I've never been to New York. I didn't know anything about it. I had one friend here. His name was Craig. He was... Shout out to Craig. Shout out to Craig. Hey, much love. He's my first New York friend, man. He got me in my first short films, my first plays. My oh, first hey, shout years. out to Craig, so bro. Quit playing. Craig's the man. Craig yeah. is a retired teacher from my hometown. Word. And he moved to New York two years before I did. So he's like mid-50s. He's one of my best friends. He's, okay. my, he's my dog. I love you, man. Love hey, you, man. for real, though. You so, ain't yeah. real MVP, Craig. For real. I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Craig. Wow. Yeah, man. So then what was that, uh, aside from meeting Craig and him helping you get into things, which right. I'm sure you'll spill into, what was it like when you did first move up here and you were like, oh, my God, this is really New York City? It was crazy. I mean, it was surreal. Like, someone back in Georgia told me, uh, she said, I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. uh, just don't look up a lot. Like, look down. If you look up, people, you know, you're not from there. They'll try to ask you to buy things. That's a point. So yeah. my first my first week was a lot of, whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that's really cool, but uh, keep your head down. It was it was, uh, it was was a culture shock, but I, th thankfully, due to the whole moving Navy father thing, yeah. I adapt very well. Okay. So it was weird for a second, but I got used to it very quickly. I just had to learn the subway part. I eventually had to get my own, like, get a job and survive and all that. But my adapting wasn't too hard. It was just figuring out how to get into acting. And thankfully, Craig did that for me. Um, figuring out how to meet other actors, make friends, get out there. Because I was 17 years old. So I, it's not like I could go to a bar and meet anybody. And I couldn't do a lot of things. I wasn't, I wasn't even 18 years old yet. So, yeah, man, it was a lot of me just like, it was a lot of guessing. And then even for auditioning, I'd only auditioned in high school. So auditioning in the real world isn't the same thing at all. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of trial and error. It was going in and doing too, mo too, doing too much, being told I was doing too much, and then doing too little, and then mm -hmm. being told. Just trying to scale it to that appropriate figuring point. Figuring it out, because yeah. I came from theater and I suddenly was doing on camera, because I didn't, I didn't even think about that. I came to New York to be on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, TV, oh, film. Yeah, that's a thing too, I can also try that. Mm. And then realizing that they're two different types of acting completely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of guessing and learning. So then, let's go back into those Broadway roots. When, I'm assuming when you were down in Georgia, is that when you first realized, you know what, 
I want to act. This is what yeah. I want to do. And why did you decide that versus becoming a lawyer or a doctor, mm -hmm. per se, as everybody would. likes to say? Don't say that. If my grandpa hears that, he's going to have a fit. And we're going to take that out. Don't, don't worry about that. that. You, you, you say straight. lawyer? That's what I said. Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> Uh, I was going to follow my dad into the military. Mm. Um, I was in ROTC for two years, freshman and sophomore year. And freshman year, I loved it, man. I was the C, the what do you call it, the CO the first semester, the XO the second semester. I just ran things. I was in charge. Yeah. If I said do push-ups, you did them. If I said let's go drill, you did them. But it was me, though. So obviously, like, I'd be in charge in front of the teacher. Yeah. And as soon as we were hitting, I was like, left, left. Okay, cool. Yeah, we good? Everybody chill? We fine? Okay, like, it was, it was fun. Sophomore year, when I wasn't in charge, and, like, they yelled at us a lot more. They made us do a lot more push-ups. Mm. And it wasn't as fun. I did this thing where, like, since I was still in charge in everyone's mind sort of thing, yeah. I became a bad kid, just in that class. And then everyone else became a bad kid. It was like little stuff. Like we'd be taking a test and I just like clap under my desk. Who was that? Who was what? And then someone on the other side of the class would be like, huh? What are you talking about? It was just like little little things. Yeah. So the next year I did not go back to ROTC. And my mom said I should try acting. Her words were, you like to be loud and obnoxious, try acting. So I did. And I fell in love with it within the first couple of weeks. Wow. Yeah. There was this one assignment where we had the pantomime things. And everyone did like little things, like I think the assignment was to search for something. So people would be like, pat their pockets and oh, my phone, I found it. Um, like, you know, simple stuff. I had this crazy idea where I came in with like these Timberlands and this big jacket and I was walking across stage and I was getting jumped, but it was just me. So I was like fighting against people. I ran inside, I called my boy and again, everything's silent. I went to my room and I'm searching for something and I find a gun. I call my boy again, I'm like, I'm coming. I slam the door. And my teacher gave me like a standing ovation. And I was like, yo, I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's just, it, was, it was cool that like, the more your imagination flowed, mm -hmm. the, the better your performance was. Yeah. So I like that a lot. 